Hello guys, it's Farmer Beavis once again with another little mod preview. And today we're gonna take a look at the new Case Puma 240 CBX by Timber131. So yeah, let's check this bad boy out. Okay, so what does this pack all come with? We of course have the, um, yeah, heart of the matter. We have the 240 CVX in the um, new Puma design. Uh, costs you 205,200 to buy, 105 upkeep a day, and outputs 270 horsepower. Um, along with that, we have the dual wheels for the rear axle, as you see on this one. Those cost you 3,000 to buy and 5 upkeep a day. And we have uh, the case branded uh, front loader arms. These cost you 5,400 and 20 upkeep a day. So yeah, let's check out the interior. All right, I have now firmly planted my ass in the driver's seat. So yeah, let's check out the interior. Um, we have a lot of um, IC stuff on this machine. I will cover that in a separate section later in the video um, because this is very in-depth and we would kind of get off track when we start that now. But anyhow, um, what else do we have in the interior? We now have a um, buddy seat or a passenger seat along with um, a passenger script. So you now can take a buddy along on a ride on multiplayer, which is very cool. And as we see, um, we generally have a redesigned interior or improved interior. Up here, the texture looks really good now. Um, yeah giants um, eat your heart out that is all I'm gonna say to that <laughs> and we see also down here and the, the seat everything has been retextured and improved very nice very nice um, yeah what else we have um, up here the uh, radio we have the light skip I'm sorry I apparently had forgotten how to English what I wanted to say is we have the light schematic up there still um, yeah words they are difficult Anyhow, um, yeah, as you see, I have the beacon on. Uh, when I switch it off, the little indicator light goes, goes off. When I turn on the front lights, the indicators for the front lights come on. For the work lights ba in the back, the rear indicators come on. And, yeah, when you switch them off, of course, the indicators go out. Um, yeah, also we have the backlight for the uh, dashboard and the multi-controller. And of course, we still have the um, yeah status lights for the indicators and for the hazard lights uh, in the column there. So yeah, this shall be it for the interior. We are now gonna check out the exterior. Okay, let's take a walk around on the outside of the tractor. We can still, of course, open the door from the outside. We have the um, new rooftop design and the new kind of uh, cap design in general that matches the current generation of the Puma. We have also a new hood. We have the um, yeah, headlights that we already know from the 230. We now also have license plates on the front and the back. We also have um, new rims and new um, axles. Uh, the oversized plates have been removed and um, the controls for the movable hitch here on the back and the, um, the controls for hiding and showing the fenders and the um, loader console have been moved to IC functions, which I will explain in the next segment. So yeah, let's check out the IC. All right, just a quick addition before we jump into the IC functions of this tractor and um, the box with the dual wheels of course um oops that was the wrong gear of course you still can attach that um with the three points if i would be in the right position that is yep there we go or you can of course just move that around with a front loader or a forklift or whatever and um to attach to them of course you can just drive next to the box press M and attach the duals and as with the duals on the 230 those leave traces of course as well so yeah we're gonna quickly um, put them back I'm gonna move the box out of the way and then we're gonna um, check out the uh, 
I see features. Alright, so as you see, tractor started up. I have the um, front linkage folded up and um, that's one of the changes with the new Puma. Um, if, for example, I now were to um, drive to this weight and try to hook up, um, you see the front arms no longer come down automatically. This is due to the um, safe feature of the IC. Um, you now have to um, fold and unfold them manually so that they get saved in the right position for when you log out of the game with something attached to the front of the tractor. So yeah, if we look now, you see the um, front implement attaches properly. So yeah, let's move on to the next um, part. That is the um, loader brackets. Let me just bring that out of the way. Um, for the loader brackets, the button is here. As you see, um, brings up the console as if you... As, um, well, I'm sorry, the heat is taking its toll. I tripped over my tongue again. Anyhow, um, yeah, as you saw, um, when you push the button, the um, loader bracket is being shown or hidden as on the old 230 when you would get out and stand in front of the tractor. And you see, once we have the um, loader console shown, we can just hook up to the loader arms as normal. Now if we just um, take a few steps back and um, hide the loader console again as um, it is by default and try to hook up to a, um, to a uh, loader bracket here or to loader arms, you see we don't get the option to hook up so that is very cool that the tractor doesn't allow for phantom attachment or whatever you want to call it. Yeah then, um, the fenders are no longer um, hidden separately. You just push that button here and they go away. If you click the button again, they come back. So yeah, next up we have um, a little button back here and that is for the care wheels. As you see, now we have the normal um, white tires on the tractor. If we push that button, you see we get the little care wheels um, as the one that I have on the ramp back there. And of course the care wheels also leave traces, so very, very nicely done. And um, I don't believe you can attach the duals once you are in this mode. Um, I'm just gonna try. Oh! Oh, um, I'm sorry, I hadn't tried that before. And yeah, as you see, um, if you attach um, if you attach the um, duels in the um, care wheels mode, you of course get care duels. Well, it's a mod from Timber. I should have known. I'm sorry. Anyhow, um, yeah, back with the regular sk schedule programming. Um, I'm gonna just uh, bring the normal tires back here. And um, on the 230, we had the movable attacher on the back with um, the keys five and six. That is no longer um, on this one. Uh, since the old script uh, kind of threw some errors, especially on uh, dedicated servers. But uh, we still have uh, some kind of movable attacher. If we um, hook up to this trailer now, you see um, yeah, that is si sitting a bit high. If you want that um, lowered, you have to um, detach, otherwise the attacher won't move. Then you push that button. And you see the attacher is now on the lower position. If I now hook back up to the tractor, eh, uh, sorry, to hook the tractor back up to the trailer, the heat is really taking its toll. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you see now the trailer is kinda in the lower position. If I now pull forward and, um, yeah, we take a look at the hitch once more. Now it's in the lower position. If we push the button here again, the hitch moves back up to the higher position. So yeah, um, and of course, uh, sorry, <laughs> the heat is really messing with me today, I'm very sorry. Um, yeah, and of course, uh, all the IC settings are being saved, so be it, um, as you see back there, whether you um, leave doors open or the loader console hidden or shown or fenders hidden or whatever, 
or the care wheels on the track door um, everything is saved once you save and exit the game so you will find the tractor in the exact same state as you left it so yeah um, I'm gonna uh, get this tractor ready and we're gonna take a short test drive and check out the sound All right, so here we are all ready to go. Um, as always, we're gonna first do our little sound check. First, we're gonna, um, yeah, start up the tractor from the inside. And then we're gonna do another startup from the outside. Yeah, nice sound on that machine. We're also gonna really quickly check out the lights. Those look really snazzy and beacon yeah and then we're gonna um yeah take this baby for a little spin we as always gonna um, very carefully come out here take a look nobody's there and give her Alright guys, that shall be it for now. As with the last previous edit, the mod is in final testing at the moment, so release should be very soon. Um, as soon as the mod is out, I will put a link in the video description, as always. So yeah, if you enjoyed this little preview, consider leaving a like, that would be awesome. And as always, thank you guys so much for taking time and watching this, and I shall see you later.